Today on Forbes, this ex-shoe salesman built a $5.5 billion fortune in aging apartment buildings. It's two hours before the inauguration of his firm, Morgan Properties' gleaming new headquarters in Conshohocken, Pennsylvania, and Mitchell Morgan still hasn't cleared out his old office. The 70-year-old real estate mogul pulls out a weathered document from 1985, a bond offering for his first deal to buy three apartment buildings. He says, quote, I just found this. I was cleaning out my office yesterday. I borrowed $55 million and I was off to the races. I owned 1,400 units, three apartment complexes. This is one of them. These days, his Morgan Properties spans more than 95,000 units across 19 states. About half of those are majority owned by the firm, with the rest split with outside investors. It's still enough for Morgan Properties to now rank as the third largest owner of apartments in the country, behind fellow billionaire Bob Faith's Graystar and publicly traded Mid-America apartment communities. And it's enough for Morgan to land on the 2024 Forbes 400 list of the richest Americans for the first time, at number 240, worth $5.5 billion. Morgan's firm's success has also elevated his profile. He joined the group backing Josh Harris's $6 billion purchase of the NFL's Washington Commanders last year, and is making a name for himself in Philadelphia's philanthropic scene as a major donor to Temple University and the Children's Hospital of Pennsylvania. He's earned his success by investing in older apartment buildings in mid-sized cities and quickly renovating them to increase rents. While many investors have poured into the fast-growing metropolises of the Sun Belt, Morgan has taken the opposite tack, acquiring portfolios in less fashionable places, such as Reading, Pennsylvania, which is the birthplace of Taylor Swift, and Rochester, New York, where his firm is the largest landlord after buying more than 18,000 units for $1.9 billion in 2019. As the post-COVID boom subsided in cities such as Atlanta and Nashville, the nation's fastest rising rents are now found in the likes of Indianapolis, Columbus, and Fayetteville, all places where Morgan Properties has a presence. Morgan Properties is privately owned. He says, quote, We're buying in markets that people don't want to buy in, and Wall Street doesn't have to tell us what to do because we don't care what Wall Street says. We bought a big portfolio in Indiana. We bought a big portfolio in Ohio. We're the largest owner in Rochester, New York. The market's great. People are everywhere. Morgan largely invests in what's known as Class B apartments, older properties that target tenants with lower incomes than those attracted to luxury buildings. One complex he owns in Elmwood Park, New Jersey, dates to 1950. While they might not be as valuable as newly built, top-of-the-line apartments, Morgan's properties tend to provide more stable cash flow and suffer fewer swings during recessions when tenants are priced out of more expensive buildings opt to downgrade. Morgan credits his success to a frugal approach he honed paying his way through college at Temple University while working for his father's shoe store. His father, a World War II vet who had opened several shoe stores, made enough money to buy a home in 1959. Four years later, his father went bankrupt for the first time. It happened again when Morgan was in 11th grade, forcing the family to sell the house and leaving his father with a single store. Recalling his family's early hardships and his dad's brush with bankruptcy, he says, quote, Never bet the ranch, because my father did. I buy existing apartments. My life is boring. We're going to stick to our boring knitting business. If you want to have something more interesting in life, get a hobby. For full coverage, check out Giacomo Tagnini's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.